If your iPhone isn't sensitive enough, you need to boost up that touch sensitivity of the screen. I'm gonna walk you through some options to do that. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is head into your settings. So open up the settings app on your phone. And after you've done that, you'll see towards the bottom is the accessibility option. So we need to get to your accessibility, tap on that. And next, you'll be able to see on your phone at the very bottom is the option for touch. Let's tap on the touch option. Now, there are two different things that control the sensitivity on your iPhone within here. The first one is the haptic touch. So tap on haptic touch here. And what haptic touch is, when you press and hold on something, it expands like this, or basically it feels like kind of a double click or a deeper click on your phone. You can make it more sensitive by switching this too fast. Essentially, and you tap and hold on it, it will pop up faster than if it was on default or slow. So this is one way to increase the sensitivity. Another way is to go back and tap on touch accommodations here. Now there are some options within a touch accommodation. You can turn this on, and then you can turn on hold duration. And what we're gonna do is set this to the smallest level it says. So you can see 0.1 seconds. So this will register a touch if you basically just tap on something 0.1 seconds. Keep in mind, depending on your specific preference, you might like this or might not like it. So you might want to leave it on or you might want to tap on it to just turn it off. Now, you can also choose ignore repeat. If you accidentally basically tap multiple different times, it'll just ignore that you've tapped multiple times. So this kind of reduces the sensitivity. Now you do have some other options in terms of increasing the sensitivity. Those are your only software options. However, there are some options for your physical iPhone screen. A lot of times if people have screen protectors on their screen, it reduces the sensitivity of that screen because there's a layer between your finger and the screen. So I would recommend removing that screen, cleaning the cloth with a cloth, cleaning the screen really well so that there's no fingerprints or anything like that, and then try it, see if it is more sensitive and see if it's working better for you. Keep in mind, in addition to that, if you have gloves on or really dry fingers, that can disrupt basically your iPhone screen registering your taps. So if you have dry fingers, just put some lotion on your fingers. Or if you have gloves, make sure you have specific gloves that are new, used basically for iPhones or touch screens. So they have gloves that have certain tactile kind of material on the fingertips that will register on your iPhone, whereas normal kind of leather or synthetic gloves a lot of times don't.